Okay, so we have our clip here, and if I play it, here's what happens. These two cars, one like blows a tire or something, hits the other guy, and it's mass destruction, right? So we're going to make this comical, because <laughs> I'm sure nobody was hurt, so we'll make this comical. So I'm going to select the clip in the timeline, make sure it is selected, and I'm going to click this little uh, tachometer looking icon. This is called the Retime tool. I'm going to click on it, and it brings up this little uh, contextual menu. And we have some options here. We can uh, make the clip slow, so we could do some predefined options, so 50% of its original speed, 25% of its original speed, so on. We can do fast, two times the original, four times, et cetera. Uh, normal, that would just put it back at 100. Um, we can hold, which will basically uh, pick, a, you can pick a, uh, a frame and it will stay that frame for the entire duration of the clip. Um, all kinds of stuff here, right? Uh, the first thing we'll do, just so we can see this work, we'll go to fast and let's do two times. Why not? So let's select two. You'll notice the clip got half the size, right? Because it sped the clip up tw two times. And you'll notice the top of the clip has now this blue bar. That means that this clip has been retimed. And we'll show you a little more about that bar here in a second. But let's just play the clip. So now they're speeding along. Wow, that looks even more painful. I thought that would be comical, but it actually looks like it hurts more. Um, OK. So let's say we didn't like that. I could either edit undo, or I can go back to the original speed. Notice it says fast here, 200%. That's how fast the two times would be. It's two times 100%, right? There's a little disclosure triangle down here that brings up that sort of same menu. And I can put it back at normal. All right? So maybe I didn't like what I did. It's back at normal. You know, and now the crash doesn't look so terrible, even though it still does look terrible. Right? OK, so let's slow it down now. OK, so I can either go back to the tachometer option, the retime tool, or I could go and click on that triangle on the retime bar. I can go to slow, and let's go to 50%. All right? So now the bar torn, turns orange for slow, and I can play it. And now we can watch every terrible detail. Oh, look at that. He hits a cone, and that's what makes the other guy. We wouldn't even have saw that if we didn't take this down to 50%, right? So again, I can either edit undo if I wanted to go back. I can, um, I can go switch it down there on the bar and change it back to normalize. Or I can do this, where if I zoom in here, towards the end of the clip, you have these little uh, vertical bars. These are kind of like handles. If I hover over that, your icon changes to that retime icon. So I can click on it and drag it. And now, I'm not doing by a percentage of time. Now I'm kind of looking around like maybe I don't want it to take so much of the timeline. Maybe I want it to go, you know, only use this much of the timeline. So it will adjust the speed. Let's see, what are we, are, what are we at now? So it, 106%, right? So if I wanted to go faster, I can make that clip shorter. And so now we're at 214%. So this is like a more dynamic way to, a quicker way to uh, change the percent to whatever you want it to be instead of one of those predefined two times, four times, 50%, 25%. So again, that's just going towards the end of the clip, hovering my mouse over the, ooh, ooh, hovering my mouse over the handles on the, on the blue bar or, or orange bar, whichever one you might be, and just clicking and drag it. And again, you'll notice the percent 
will change based on the duration of the clip. Pretty cool. Do next. So, okay, so let's put that back at normal. So one of the quickest ways to do that, again, is click on the, uh, the down arrow on the bar and select normal to go back to 100%. And remember, what's the shortcut key to zoom out the timeline to fit? Shift Z. Yep, so again, I said like that's going to be your, your new best friend. Um, so let's talk, about, let's talk about the speed ramp. Okay. So one of the options with my clip selected, one of the options in the retime tool is speed ramp. So this gives us two options. It says to 0% or from 0%. So what this will do, this will take your entire clip. Let's say it's 10 seconds long. I don't know how, clip, how long the clip is. And let's say we do from 0. That means at the beginning of the clip, it will be 0%. And it will put little edits in the clip and change the speed of the clip at those little edits till it goes all the way to 100% at the end of the clip. So it ramps up the speed from 0 to 100. All right, so let's try it. So I'm going to do from 0 or uh, from 0 to 100%. And look what it did. It added all these little speed change areas, these ranges. So if I were to play this clip, it, they're not moving. They're going very slow, and it'll get faster and faster all the way up until it normalizes to 100%. Kind of cool and very simple to do. It's one click, right? So I'm going to edit, undo that, and we'll do it the other way just to see it. So go to the tachometer. I'm going to go to speed ramp. I'm going to go to 0. So what do you expect it to do? going to be 100% to start and oops and it will gradually slow down to nothing pretty cool and very simple to do i i challenge one of you fcp7 holdouts to do that in fcp7 you'll be there for an hour Let's talk about doing to a specific range here. Maybe we want our clip to be 100% up until the moment of death impact, right? So maybe we want to slow it down at this point, or maybe we wanted to highlight what caused this accident, right? So we'll, we'll do a range. So what's the sh quick shortcut key for a range? Hold down R, right? So I'm going to drag it. And notice while I'm dragging, it shows me my where my timeline is so I can say okay from there to there I want it to be slow so with that range selected I can go up to my retime tool I can go to slow and let's say we want it at 50 percent so you'll see FCP automatically puts in the transitions and all for us so let's play it and see what happens Oh, yep, and that highlights the crash, and then it goes back to normal speed. Pretty cool. I like it. 